Hey everyone, today we are making a guide on Yunha. Now, Yunha is a basic ranged unique hero. This means that she is not always obtainable through banners, in addition to being a basic type hero, meaning she is weak to the dark element and she is strong against the light element. Now, you can find everything about Yunha within this book, so if you want to reference her stats, or her kit anytime if you do not have her you can refer to this video the book within the game and i believe the wiki has some details but the wiki isn't always kept 100 updated so you can use the in-game book it will always give you the most up-to-date reliable information now her compatible equipment which is her weapon is a basket and an accessory like every other character her basic attack does not have a reload Meaning, characters like Claude, Kamael, Rosetta, etc. all can auto-attack up to a certain number of times before their auto-attack recharge has to fill up and then they can auto-attack again. Yunha does not have that mechanic. She can auto-attack pretty much indefinitely without any breaks. You just hold the attack button and she just sucks. That, that, that's really all she does. She just sucks, right? She starts sucking. Anyways, she has some nice healing within her kit as a certain amount of attack procs, which is six heals the party. This is similar to Kama L's. However, it's a bit more broken in the regard to where Kama L has a certain amount of auto attacks he can fire off before having to recharge them. Yunha's aren't limited, so it's every six auto attack ticks where she'll heal the party, which is pretty ridiculous. Now, her second part of her kit within the auto attack is mask mastery it just throws around a mask that decreases enemy attack by 10 percent it's nothing crazy but it is some nice safety for the team her chain skill is a melee damage of 500 percent it chains from down to airborne so it is not range damage meaning that it's not going to benefit from range damage party buffs and range damage boosts however it does allow some use into things like camazon or orb orbital lift where you can get away with early stages just purely due to the melee damage on this even if you're against uh ranged immunity enemies her special ability reduces enemy defense which is really really good and it's normal defense meaning she can work with characters like kama l as kama l it decreases range defense so they stack in case you did not know the same type of defense shred does not stack so for example nari and kama l they both shred range defense so they both shred it by 20 percent, which means they don't stack right 20 is not higher than 20 so overall you're only getting a 20 percent defense shred range defense shred mind you and it's just a waste of having nari there because she's not providing anything else and yunha on the other hand does provide something else she provides normal defense so they have a great great synergy and the other part of her special ability increases the party member's attack up to 20 percent this is really really nice it's a lot more additional damage for the whole party in addition to her party buff and her defense shred now for her weapon it provides her with some additional damage on her skills and i believe her autos but the most important part here if you're running her on basic this is if you're running her on basic is the 50 percent crit multiplier for basic heroes this does apply to herself so yeah she does benefit from it having her ex is going to be a sub substantial like extremely high dps increase for yunha if you're running her on most teams unless you're doing earth raids but that's really end game stuff that you're not going to bother with now however to go over it simply you need her ex it makes her do so much more damage so much so much so much better right get that ex okay technically you don't need it unless you're running her on basic but i'm telling you you need it okay so that's it for her kit uh she gives hp increase for progressing her now technically mirror earring of patience is her best option however however it realistically isn't because it's going to be so so costly to get this thing maxed and you could have had so many other accessories maxed out before it it's not worth it don't bother with this you have options like sniper goggles for off lead but i think they're actually better more accessible options early on and it, that's going to be golden pocket watch golden pocket watch is an absolute classic if you're running any character lead early on early to mid game actually it's pretty much going to be the best in slot accessible accessory for your time right Greed earrings not bad golden pocket watch is just better if they are lead and i cannot for the life of me find sharpshooter and there it is if you're running off lead yunha sharpshooter is pretty much the best early to mid game accessory that you can get your hands on
Now, for Yunha team comps, there are pretty much an exponentially large amount of team comps you can run, right? So you could, for example, run Claude, Kamael, and, you know, pop an Agma in there. Okay, that's Gun Agma. Don't run Gun Agma. Where's my Craig? Okay, there he is, right? You could just run this team, Yunha, Claude, Kamael, Craig, and it's an absurdly powerful team. You have an insane amount of sustain. Okay, he's missing stuff, but uh, we'll, we'll act like that's the full team, okay? Pretend like that's, okay. You know what? No, we're not putting shit on him. Old man can stay naked, but, <laughs> but this is a really damn good team, isn't it, right? But you know what else is also a pretty, pretty good team? This with Future Princess. Right, this is also a pretty good team. They even use, you know, a Garum here, and it would work. It's just, in my opinion, there are better options. Right, for example, Knight. Knight is actually pretty good within this team, okay? Knight with Yunha is pretty good, and it's a four chain team, right? Yunha into Knight, Knight into uh, Maya. You can do this in pretty much any order, right? Yunha into Craig, Craig into Knight, Knight into Maya. It's a full four chain team that, yeah, if you have Yunha, you can get the rest for free, right? You are gonna need Libera type B Knight though, right? I'm just gener generating and giving you team ideas. You pretty much can run almost anything that isn't monolocked with Yunha, right? That's why I said Garam isn't that great of an option because Garam is monolocked into water. MK99, if mine will appear here, is also not a bad option because she isn't monolocked. Well, obviously she's going to perform better in a team with like Eleanor and Gabriel in a full monolite team, but she's still not bad here. And you could even run Kamael, right? It's such a, such a splashable versatile character that works with so many things. First Corpse works here. Uh, you could even run Nari. Nari's also really, really good here. You could even run Miss Chrome. You have so, so many options that yeah, you're gonna be just roaming into whatever you have and you can use it as long as it's a ranged synergetic character you can check out my team building guide and stuff and and check out na city's uh party buffs guide if you don't know how those work and stuff but yeah that's the yunha guide if you enjoyed it subscribe like leave a comment because only like what negative four percent of you are subscribed okay those are real statistics and i can't prove them but <laughs> i hope you all enjoyed this one